So we are in the Story Arms car park on the A470 in the Brecon Beacons National Park. Going camping with our dad today. It's going to be a second world camp. So he's looking forward to that. He's all kitted out with all the gear. There's my. <laughs> Normally, we go on the other side of the road, heading towards Penavan, Cordy, etc. But this is the first time. We're going this side and we're going to go up to a mountain called Van Vauer. So yeah, we know there's a cairn up there and there's a trig point a bit further down. So uh, we'll show you that in due course. the old man's glasses on. How are you finding it? Hard. Hard? What is that? I'm getting on a bit, mate. Yeah. Getting on a little bit. Just a bit. Pushing 80. Pushing up here is a bit of a foot. God, I don't know how steep when you look up here. But tell you what, nearly 80 with that on your back. It um, takes some doing. Like. You must be fucking mad, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Wendy's going nuts. If Wendy saw me now, she'd go nuts. She'd say, you're fucking not doing that, are you, you stupid kid? <laughs> <laughs> she's probably always my old and my bloody pole. We apologise about the language here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't actually swear. Not that much, anyway. Oh, so I guess... It's um, a man's channel, this. I thought it was a It's not a family show, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well. I wouldn't be allowed on it. Uh. Oh, I'm going to get sweating, why not? So, excuse me, I'm off again. Sorry about sweating. <laughs> Apologies for the sweating. Ah, uh, anyway. So I can sit down and we can get back up. <laughs> just got to stand there for a bit. He <laughs> <laughs> said, buddy, you see you, they want to pull me over. You know, I'm fighting against this, I am. That's why my shoulders and my chest are hurting. You be you get, you'll get used to it, huh? I'm fighting against the weight, isn't I? It's like that starting off, isn't it? Then it's like it's not even on your back. If you know the what I mean. The thing is, I'm, uh, I'm fighting so, this and I'm fighting gravity as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm defying gravity coming up here. Well, walking anyway is defying gravity. You'll be alright. Tell you what, lovely day for it. We've had a fair bit of rain lately, but I thought. Um, the weekend was going to be the same, but it's all right. Actually, yeah, a little bit breezy, but ideal conditions for hiking. Huh? There's Simon and the old man. We will get him up there. We will. And we're assuming. The summit's up there somewhere. We haven't been here before, but but we could be wrong. Gotta be up there. We've been wrong in the past, but it's definitely up there. Definitely, that's that's gotta be up there. You reckon? <laughs> you broke my neck then. Here he comes. And just before anyone says you're cruel to your dad dragging him up here, it was his idea. He asked her, yeah, protest, I'm <laughs> going for a hike and a wild camp. So I said, you sure? He said, yeah. So, there you go. What? He's nagging us every week. I know, so there he is. Knackered, I just say knackered, that's a hike, eh? Yeah. 
<laughs> We've had another breather. He needs more rest than us, you know. We've got to keep stopping every five, five minutes. <laughs> but anyway, not too much further to go, hopefully. Are oh, you finding it now? Fucking ass! <laughs> you should have brought your Zimmer frame up, you. Yeah. <laughs> you should have brought your mobility scooter up, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think now would be a perfect opportunity to give a couple of shout outs to uh, a couple of channels we watch. And they watch ours as well, so we're going to give a shout out to Adventures with a Lonesome Drifter, Martin. He's based in Spain and he does uh, a good few hikes on the Pyrenees and various other places. So give him a, give his uh, channel a, a watch and maybe subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll leave a link to his uh, channel in the description of the video. And another YouTuber we watch, and he watches us as well, is a guy called Dave Goodman. Similar things to us, camping, uh, wild camping, hiking. You know, all the same things we do. So uh, yeah, we'll leave a, a link to his uh, channel in the description, in the, in the below the video. So uh, check him out. Just watch you don't slide on, on those stones, that's all. Looks a bit loose there, like. Yeah, it's quite steep by here, isn't it? It's, uh, it's a bit of a gradient, like. You alright there, no? He's doing well, fair play. Not far to go now, about 60 metres, I think. Okay. Yeah. I'll be there now before you know it. Some stunning views up here, of Corn D. Hardly any wind at the moment. And there's a the reservoir down there, which is, well, still rather empty since the, you know, the summer heat waves we've had. So, yeah, some cracking views up here. Not far off the summit now. And just checking my peak finder. Over there, you got Van Geherik. And Van Brekeniog and Van Gehirig. That might be one of the next ones we're going to do. Might do Van Nev as well, same day. So that'll be another two nut holes off our list. Nice day for it, though, isn't it? Hey. Nice day for it. Nice snow, yeah. yeah. It's not that windy either, which is good. It got a bit chilly down my day. Nice it was cold by the car park, wasn't it? Hey? Cold by the car park. Yeah. Yeah. Is that anybody there? You can just see the cairn above the above the brow there. See it on the left? Just to the left of Simon is. And that's the summit, that is the cairn. Right, we're sort of on top now. The trig point is just by there. I don't know if you can see it. Simon and my dad come in now and then we're gonna walk to the trig point and then all the way back over there is the cairn and that is the summit of Van Vauer. And we're gonna we're going to camp there tonight. It's not too windy, so yeah, it should be ideal.
So that's a Van Barber Creek point. Always nice to see some uh, Welsh dragons painted on there. But it could do with another lick of paint, that's for sure. It's easily doing. Yeah, we're brightens up any uh, lump of concrete. Can't beat the Welsh dragons. So the three tents we're using tonight is my old favourite, the Fial Raven Abisco Light 2. The MSR Access one in orange, that's Mark's tent. And that's the newer model with the vents and the fly. And I just bought this second hand, it's the green um, MSR Access one, and it's the older version without the, um, the vents and the fly. I've heard with this tent, you've got a lot, of, a lot of condensation in it. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how this tent performs on his first outing tonight, so yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Right, it's five past five. We're gonna risk it, we're gonna put all the tents up now. There's the can, and this looks good, nice and level. Well, level ish. I'm gonna put the three tents around there somewhere. I'm just hoping nobody comes up. <laughs> right, let's get the tents up. Tonight I'm using my Fjall Raven Abisco 2 light. This is my new tent, the MS uh, Access one, the older version. We have the vents. But my dad's using that because he wants to sit up. He don't like being low down to the floor and uh, claustrophobic, so I don't mind him using that. I, I haven't used it before, but he'll be the first person using this tent. You don't want to be lying down like he's in a coffin. Yeah. <laughs> Mark's using the MSR, MSR Access 1 newer version with a vent, you can see the vents. So yeah, we're a bit close to the path. Um, the path goes down there, down there, and down there. So now we thought we'd take a chance. We're right by the cairn. Cracking views of Corn D in the distance over there, so yeah, it's a, it's a great pitch. It's getting a bit late now, so I don't think anyone will be coming up here. So we're going to get all the air beds set up, um, well, the mats, sleeping, sleeping bags out of the bags, and then uh, we'll settle down and get some food, I think. Right then, I'll show you what we're, we're having for tea tonight. I 
got a couple of quarter pounders, cheese slices, a couple of brioche buns, and of course, wash down with a can of two or three the Herefordshire fire water. using a couple of um, new bits of um, kit tonight guys I bought these two items a set of tongs and a spatula from an outdoor shop in Clan Gotham and they're made by GSI Outdoors so I'll try these now cooking these burgers and see how they fare yeah tonight there's uh, meant to be a, a draconid I think I pronounced that right, Drakenid Meteor Shower. Um, at the moment, skies are quite clear. We have a pan around. There's a nice big grey cloud coming over this way, but I'm not sure if it's going to stick around. Hope not. Hopefully, we can get some clear skies in there. Hope it's a bit of a spectacle. Nice and warm in there. Not Tidy. too bad, not too bad, is it? Tidy, yeah. <laughs> Tidy, Tidy. No, that's good fun, is it? It's a little bit cold. Well, it is, it is October, but I'm breathing a bit of vapour here as well. It's quite chilly, but once you're in a sleeping bag and inside your tent, it'd be lovely and well, so I'm sure you'd be fine. I'll tell you what, I wish you could smell this. It smells immense. Burgers and onions on a wild camp. Awesome. And look at that for a view. No, I don't mean him, I mean all that in the background. Fantastic. Nice cheeseburger with, with onions. Starving. Just waiting for. It's got a bit darker. And we should see this uh, meteor shower with a bit of luck. Great campus. Look at this everyone. The sun is just coming below the cloud now. And I'll tell you what, the camera never does it justice. That is absolutely stunning. You've got the silhouette of the um Carmarvan vans in the distance. You've got Van Kirk there. Van Brickhane Yard and Pick SD. Wow.
other side of it and uh, I'll have a look at the tents. Um, got a bit of moisture forming on the outside on the fly. Um, same on this one, you should probably just about see it. Fowl rate of tent is pretty. It's pretty wet. I gotta be. I gotta. I gotta say. But um, as long as it don't come in on to the inner, I'll be happy. Yeah, it's pretty damp about it. Yeah, I'm looking up yeah, the stars, I can't see much. Um, in the way of a meteor shower, but it's quite clear now as well, so we'll keep looking. And see what we can see. It's got a bit nippy here you now, so uh, I think we're all going to hunger down. Get into our, you know, our sleeping bags, get into our tents, and uh, have a bit of a walk, I think. So, uh, anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Take that in there. Take that in there. Don't let it go on the floor. Oh. Good morning, everyone. It's nearly four o'clock. <laughs> as well man. I don't know if you can see me, but my dad's had a bit of a panic attack. He's woke up, he's freaking out. And um, we put him inside his tent. He got a two man tent, so he's in there with him now. He couldn't handle the wind like. It's blowing, blowing a gale out there, like, but. Yeah, so I was in a lovely sleep as well, and he woke me up. Bastards. <laughs> oh well, he's in there now anyway, so happy days. Oh, what a night that was. I think we all went to bed about half 10, 11, and um, it was quite calm, but about 12 o'clock at night, the wind started picking up. And it's been like it ever since. It's that past seven now. And uh, we didn't get much sleep last night. My dad didn't like it at all. It's his second wild camp. And uh, he was pretty scared, to be honest. The wind and the gusts were getting up here. It's unbelievable. And this one forecast. It's been a good test for these tents. They've all survived the night. And they're all still standing. You know, my dad was sleeping in there and he thought at one point it was going to blow down, but it's still, it's still there. And it's done well, he's held up well, so yeah. But we're going to pack up now, we're not going to... We're not going to make any breakfast or coffee or anything, we're just going to pack up one tent at a time and get down from here, because it's absolutely horrendous. As you can probably see, the mist. 
the flag is just everywhere, but we can't with visibility. Right, that's us all packed up. As usual. No trees left. What we brought in we can always take back out with us. We're gonna hike back down to the cap now. See down there. Nearly back down now. And there's no one more relieved than him. <laughs> Not fair. Car park's only down there. Done this one now. <laughs> right, as you can see, we're back down. We got him back down in one piece. It's alright for him now, he can sleep for a week. Oh, we, he's retired, like, you know. <laughs> Jammy git. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, would you do it again? No swear, not up there. Something a bit uh, more my age. Not fair. <laughs> good camp on the island, I mean, quite a yeah. But all in all, it was a good camp, wasn't it? You know, the weather, the weather. Apart from the night. Yeah, the weather was a bit. Yeah, it wasn't the best. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, I'm a bit. I don't know whether you might not see me.